what up guys Dredge Shells here and welcome back to World of Tanks uh, I'm just doing a quick video for you guys for the weekend uh, just uh, giving you guys a, a quick heads up on the missions and the bonuses that will be going on this weekend so you can maximize your playtime and get the most benefit out of it we're wrapping up the month of August here and Wargaming have got a few deals going on this weekend so let's take a quick look at them and we got a times three weekend going on uh, times three XP for Friday Saturday Sunday and the wee hours of the Monday morning if you are up late and playing tanks uh, regular heavy tanks tiers four and five are on sale for 50% off so if you uh, want to rebuy that tier five heavy tank that you ground through all those ages ago and you like playing it you can rebuy your KV-1 or your um, uh, KB1S, uh, any tier 5 and tier 4 heavy tanks are on sale. Regular heavy tanks uh, tier 6 and 7 are also 30% off. So if you have that IS-2 or T29 that you have unlocked for a while but you haven't had the credits, hunker down, grind out a few credits this weekend and you'll be able to purchase it cheaper than you would normally. Also there's some missions going on this weekend. Uh, hunt the heavies, destroy one enemy heavy tank in a battle. This is repeatable and it's for tiers 3 through 10. This gives you a 50% crew XP bonus. Also there is angling your armor. Block 1500 or more points of damage with the armor in a battle. Uh, uh, for tiers 4 through 10, repeatable and you must be in a heavy tank for this mission so you can't do it in a heavily armored tank destroyer or a medium you gotta be in a heavy tank. And this mission gives you 20% XP bonus overall. Brawler, deal uh, damage equal to or exceeding your vehicle's hit point pool in a battle. So basically, earn a Fire for Effect badge. So, not too difficult there. Uh, this is for tiers 4 through 10 as well. Uh, and you also must be in a heavy tank, uh, like the previous mission. And, once again, this also gives you a 20% XP bonus. Also, we got Trading Blows. So this is for completing the Angling Your Armor mission. 15 times. So if you complete that mission for uh, blocking 1,500 hit points or more with your armor, you get, uh, and you complete that 15 times, you get a 5% XP booster, which lasts for 6 hours. Also, there's advancing your front line, and this is for completing the brawler mission 15 times. So if you hop in a heavy tank and do damage equal to or exceeding the hit points of your vehicle and you do that 15 times you get a 50% crew XP booster and that lasts for six hours as well and lastly here we got heavy tanks with honors and this is for completing the trading blows and the uh, advancing your frontline missions and if you get both of those missions done this weekend you get an enhanced uh, gun lane drive which is uh, kind of a nice little benefit there also, we got some uh, deals going on in the premium shop this weekend. We got uh, uh, 1,300 gold and three days plus one, so four days of premium time, all for 10 bucks. Also, we got uh, Churchill 3s on sale here for $9.39. Churchill 3, really fun tank for the low and mid tiers. It's got pretty good armor and a rapid firing gun. It's a really fun tank to play. Also, the Excelsior is on sale for the same price. Not quite a good of a tank as I as the Churchill 3 is in my opinion, but if you're a tank collector, uh, grab this tank this weekend. It is also on sale. And don't forget we're wrapping out the month of August here, and uh, all month long Wargaming have been doing the, the light tank uh, missions and the TD missions and the medium tank missions for the AP exams. Uh, each one of those sets of missions has give, been given its own uh, XP and credit uh, booster benefits and if you finish all of these missions here you get a tetrarch at the end of the month so the gauntlet missions for the heavy AP exams here are pretty simple uh, destroy four or more enemy vehicles in a single battle uh, that's pretty easy to do in uh, tier 4, tier 5 mainly tier 5 tanks or if you got an autoloader heavy like a T57 or a 50B these are pretty easy to complete tiers uh, 4 through 10 once per day and you must be in a heavy tank and you get two large first aid kits uh, next one here is heavy's practical application damage 15 enemy vehicles and block 5,000 points of damage by armor over any number of battles uh, 
at tiers 4 through 10 once again and you can do this only once per day and you must be in a heavy tank once again and you get two large repair kits and two automatic fire extinguishers and the last AP exam mission here is complete AP exam prep and heavies practical application once and you get a 25 percent credit booster two hours and this uh, personal reserve does not expire so you can use it whenever you want 25 credit uh, booster is pretty pretty awesome uh, personal reserve so if you got some uh, credits that you've been trying to grind up to buy a tank or buy some equipment you can uh, grind out these missions this weekend get that credit booster and uh, grind the credits that you need to buy whatever you need and there's one more thing we need to mention real quick here for the NA server events that will be going on. Wargaming have given us a little teaser of what they're going to be doing next month between September 1st and October 1st. Uh, it's uh, titled Hunter Elite and it's probably going to be featuring missions that uh, require you to be playing the new Japanese heavy tank line uh, that will be released in 9.10. Uh, they have not released any of the details of the missions yet, um, but they will probably be doing that real shortly in the next day or so. Um, but look at what they are offering as a reward for probably completing the series of these missions. An E25, that is right. They will be giving you an opportunity to, opportunity to earn an E25. You cannot buy this tank anymore from the premium shop or the in-game tech tree. This is only one of two ways you can earn this tank either by completing the series of missions that they will be uh, publishing uh, for the month of September or you are a lucky fellow and you know somebody who gave you a code for the E25 tank so I hope that got, uh, gets you guys excited for doing the missions for the month of September I will be trying to complete them because I do not have the E25 yet and I wasn't able to purchase it before they removed it from the game so I will be trying to get this tank myself. And it looks like Wargaming is featuring a few gold and credit bundles on the uh, EU website this weekend from August 28th, so that's today until September 4th. So about a week you got uh, to take advantage of these uh, gold and credit bundles if you got a little bit of dough uh, lying around. Uh, 12,500 gold and 2.5 million credits for 100 euros and if you don't have quite that much dough lying around you can buy smaller packs for 50 euros and 37 euros also don't forget that the Yeg Tiger 88 will be removed from the game in 9.10 you got about a week and a half left to pick up this monster if you still want it it's going on sale here for about 37 euro and that's a pretty good deal in my opinion if you're wondering if this tank is worth it or not it's kind of a player preference tank but to be honest I think this tank is worth buying um, it's got adequate armor uh, the speed will let you down a little bit but the gun is awesome rapid firing accurate and you can grind credits like no other in this tank so it looks like the uh, free XP to crew XP conversion deal that's been going on from July 1st up until now will be over September 1st so uh, if you have that last little bit of XP, you want to top off on your crew to get to the next tier of skills. So you can show off and break to your buddies that you got five skills or four skills on your crew or six or seven skills, whatever. Uh, make sure to take advantage of this deal. This weekend it will be over September 1st. And the conversion ratio, I believe, is one to five. Yep, one free XP to five crew XP. So... Uh, if you got 10,000 free XP, that will give you 50,000 crew XP, etc, etc. And if you're not familiar uh, on how to do that, just follow the instructions here on the website. They're pretty straightforward, and you'll be able to do that no problem. So, that looks like that's most of the deals and events that are going on this weekend. Once again, w just wanted to make this video real quick for you guys so you know what's going on, and you can take advantage of all, uh, all the events and all the missions that are going on. If you wanted to buy some tanks or grind out some XP, those are the deals that are going on. Hope you guys have a great weekend. Good luck hunting out there and take care.